Hello everyone and I hope you're all well. I wanted to make this video part 14 of how to start a recruitment business. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is how to actually make 10 grand from recruitment, what exactly you have to do, how many clients you have to have and how many jobs you have to have on. So it's not the case of whether, you know, you've got to do X amount to get it. I'm going to give you real data so you know exactly how many clients you should have, how many placements you should be making and how exactly you're gonna make 10 grand a month. So the reason I picked 10 grand a month, it's a nice figure, and it puts you in line with making 100K working from home. So this job is gonna be part-time, and it's not gonna be part-time in the sense you're gonna do 15 hours and that's it. It's gonna be around your sort of day job. So it is possible, I've done it, I'm doing it at the moment. Um, so I've got, I started my agency about a week ago, and I've got two interviews booked in. So. That being said, I'm still doing business development. I'm still sending 100 emails out. So if you've watched any of the other videos, you know for a fact my strategy is based solely around emails. I do cold call, but most of my business is one through email. So what I do is I send 100 emails a day to clients potentially offering our service. I set up a normal looking website, nothing special, and I blast the emails out. Anyone comes back, I schedule a call. I discuss it with them and they give me a job to work on. I get my terms and conditions signed, so they agree to pay me. And after that, I get working on their jobs. Usually some clients will have more than one position. So to cover exactly what you're gonna need in terms of positions, I know for a fact that if you have 30 jobs on, so if you have 30 positions that you're currently recruiting for from various clients, it could be made up of one client, it could be made up of 15 or even 30 clients. Chances are you're gonna make 10 grand this month or the next month, depending on when the people start. This data is a very, how can I put it? It's a very sort of conservative approach. So if you have 30 jobs on, if you total each amount up, usually they're gonna be worth two to four grand each. And usually you have it so, how can I put it? You would have potentially 100K worth of business if you make all of those placements, if you successfully find all those people a job. So if you just take 10% of that, which is 10 grand, that is the guaranteed amount. Usually most people fill about 20% of the positions they're working on, which is average and actually quite a good amount. So if you've got 30 jobs on, you fill 20% of it or 10% of it, you're gonna make anywhere from 10 to 20K. Can you make more than 10 grand? Yes, you can make that from even one placement and it can all be done from home. So my setup, how I do it is, I have my emails on my phone. So anyone pings through or a client comes back to me, I just email back and say, can I schedule a call at this time, X amount of time? And you can take time out of your lunch break or if you're working from home, you can obviously do it from there. If you don't have a job at the moment, you've got no excuse. You can obviously take the call. Um, a lot of clients will do everything through email. So not all of them will also want to schedule a call with you. I've placed with plenty of clients I've made you know, money from that I haven't even actually spoke to. And you can be, still build a relationship via email. I don't care what anyone says. Most people don't like to talk to recruiters because they all sound the same. They all want to harass you. And I know that clients expect this and they, they don't want people calling them all the time they want to manage it through the inbox all they want is the cv sent so you've got different types of clients you've got ones that are happy to build a relationship with you they're happy to get on the phone with you and partner with you and see you as an extension of their business rather than just a recruiter and then there's some clients that just say yeah we'll pay you this amount can you send your cvs across to us we'll review we'll interview and we'll make the offer from there so they just use you as a service it depends <laughs> excuse me so if you have a build around your house and you know you sit there you want to build a relationship with him get to know him or you just want him to come in and do the work and go so it's totally up to you if you if you want to go down the route of building a relationship that's fine if you're happy to work i mean i'm happy both ways and um, i prefer the relationship building because you get to know the client and their needs so in a nutshell how to make 10 grand is you need to get 30 positions on so what that looks like going forward in a you know a few months potentially in three months you can have 30 jobs on ongoing once you get to a certain stage it won't be the case of 
you know, you've got to still send your emails out. The old clients you worked with three months ago that you placed their position with, they might say, look, we've got this position coming up or we've got that position coming up. Can you find CVs or can you find people for those? So it's not the case of once you get the ball rolling, there's not really much to it. Um, once your desk is established, I think about six months into my desk, it was full on, it reached, you know, 90 plus vacancies. So it's not something that you want to really really you need to go hard at the start basically there's nothing else to it um you want to set up you don't want to be faffing about with your website for two three weeks you really want to just get in there get started start sending your emails out every single day put it into your routine i do mine at 10 a.m to 2 10 p.m to 2 p.m so at night i send my emails out people pick it up in the morning and we go from there so there's nothing more to it um hope this video helped um, get those 30 jobs on and I guarantee you're going to be making money.